Everything's come back. Amniocentesis tested negative for AFP. No blood disorders, no neural tube defects, and no abnormalities on the sonogram. So our baby's fine? He's perfectly normal. Dr. Vonner! Where's the doctor? There's a dead end. I suggest you get his files and get out of there. No time for that. Send me his home address. Vance Garver's people are probably cleaning it out right now. So you think this baby doctor thing was just a front? What a reason Marcus recruited him for Aurora. Mm, if you believe this guy's press, he was a miracle worker. Looks like he worked one for Marcus. Every vampire needs a familiar with skills. Yeah, I make the weapons. And I use them. That's the arrangement. No shit. I thought we were dating. Blade? Blade! Chain them up. Can I get you anything else? Nuh uh, I'm done. All right, you can pay at the register when you're done. Play soccer?
Well, there's a dead end. Every vampire needs a familiar with skills. And I make the weapons. And I use them. That's the arrangement. Oh shit. I thought we were dating. Little man. Nailed his ass. Damn straight. We have Aurora. We know it works. You were going to kill Dr. Bonner anyway. Blade just saved you the trouble. At the moment, I have different troubles. Those shipments were your responsibility. And so is Boone. I'll take care of him. No. You and Krista will, together. I don't need her. Boone was Krista's first turn. There's a connection between them that can be exploited. Marcus, not the House of Lycan. The shortest distance between Boone and Krista is through that shared experience. I'll find Boone another way. He left a trail. That ends in the middle of Kansas. I don't have time to humor your sordid past. Find Boone and use Krista. What? Charlotte's calling. Tell her we'll find Boone. I'm gonna tell her you already have. Hey. Blade. Blade. Call out. I'm here to negotiate for your release. You okay? Shut up and start negotiating. Things need killing. <laughs> Well, that's just it. I'm, I'm negotiating with you. I'm with them. This was my idea. Then I'll be killing you, too. It'll help? Aren't you halfway down the hall? Gaining a little weight? Time to clean up your mess. Boone. He's loose and complicating matters. Well, it's impossible. I killed him. You turned him. To kill him, you'd have to drain him. Being an amateur, you didn't. Now you're going to see how the other half lives. Other half of what? Us. Pack a bag. We're flying to Oregon. What's in Oregon? The House of Lycan. And they know where Boone is? No. You do. Lycan's just going to dig it out. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you mind telling me what I'm walking into? Sweetheart, walking in isn't the problem. I bet you're wondering why you're here. I told you there was another way to fight the war. You weren't always the man you are now. You still need a little redemption. With the help of a few old friends. So go ahead. Say hello. Remember him? Remember your childhood. Little man. Step and raise him. It's been a while. I 
What you going by now, little man? Blade. You got a deep rep. You big, bro. Not too big, though. Blade's gone. Taken off the street by four masked vampires. Now, what would you know about that? Shen. Where is he? Marcus didn't do it. Bullshit. You come here to finish things off? You don't believe me? Shoot. What are you doing here? Bones alive. The cop? He's turned. No shit. That's what happens when a vampire... Shut up and get the gun out of my face. Boone's going around killing people, and Chase and I have been ordered to eliminate him. Shen, I don't know what happened to Blade. Okay, I gotta torch this place and go. Wait a minute, you're leaving? That's the protocol. What happens to me? We all got problems. Shen, what do you know about the House of Lycan? Lycan vampires have sworn off killing. They drink clone blood. I'm going there to find Boone. He's there? No. Then why are... Oh, wow. What? You can't go, Krista. They have this ritual. You ever heard of a sweat lodge, a Native American thing where you see visions? Would they want me to see Boone? That's the idea, except there's no sweat. Just lots of blood. How much blood? You can't do it. If it'll stop Boone, I'm doing it. Hey. Good luck with Blade. I've got Sarah. You're gonna need more. After it's done, inject it, all of it. First chance you get. Okay, thanks. Good luck to you too. Talking. Play it again. He ain't so bad. He used to be. But he's no bad blood. But he's no bad blood anymore. Bad blood. Bad blood. I guess you're pretty thirsty by now. Well, they want to get back on that serum of yours. Yeah, I know about that. And I know what you did on the streets after your father left. Before Whistler found you, such bad things to these poor boys. They weren't exactly Boy Scouts. 
But they took you in off the street, and you took their souls for it, you took their lives. Cue the violins. Because they were turned by you, they've been rejected by every house. Forced to live on their own, to do horrible things just to survive. I can fix that. I've gotten through to them. They want to stop feeding, stop killing. They just need your serum to do it. They don't want my serum. They want me. And now that they've got me, you're nothing but their next meal. Real bleeding heart here. I can't believe how much you changed, little man. I wish that I could tell you that it's not too late. That you could come back. Be a brother again. But we got plans need executing. Let me guess. I'm the plan. Yeah. You're gonna help us, little man. You're gonna change our fucking lives. Detective Gibbs? I am. You ready? Yep. How long were you in Boone Park? About two years. The last six months, he was more of a solo act. Took a lot of personal time. Any idea why? Uh, we stopped talking. I mean, about anything other than the number of girls he was banging. Pretty long list if you believe the stories. Did you? Well, there was a lot of detail. Any talk of personal problems, where you might have gone if things got bad? Or like a beach in Bali or something? No. Talked about the future a lot. You know, what it'll be like to live in it like hundreds of years from now. What, like science fiction? No, not really. More like uh, an extended vacation. Huh. Yeah, I didn't get it either. You need a key? You got one? Speak German? The only thing I ever saw him read was a menu and he couldn't pronounce half of it. You recognize this? What's our Maya? Look at you. Playing vampire cop. Sing your ass up and smoke. Yeah. There's that look. Like you're trying to tell me you're gonna kill me. <laughs> Who taught you that look? You were a kid. Lost and scared. With no place and nobody. A scrawny ass little bloodsucker. You fed and killed. Some you turned. You remember that night you turned us? Bolt was joining up. I was giving him his tats. I was just wiping the fresh blood off the back of his neck. He must have tasted it in the air. That's what brought you to us. Back when we were just kids. I was just a kid, too. No! That night you were a killer. You walked right into this place here. Oh, shaking and crying and saying you was hungry. We offered you shelter and food. We reached out to help you. You bit us for it. You turned us into addicts. You gave us the thirst. That pain so deep inside that it never goes away. Oh, yeah. You got the thirst right now, don't you? That's what you gave us. 
But we ran with it. And you ran with us. Hell. You were proud to wear our mark and live under our protection. But you were smaller than the others. Different. A brother. I would have done anything for you, little man. I did. I killed a lot of people. You were killers way before I ever met you. And that's what we'll be when this is over. That's how we survive. Damn. You really don't know what you did to us after you left. You remember that night Whistler came knocking? That old man killed Brick and cut her before he dragged you away. We thought he'd ask your sorry ass. About a decade later, we started hearing rumors about this vampire killer named Blade. Big bad scary motherfucker with tattoos crawling up the back of his neck. Something like don't bother him. This whistler gave you a different thirst. A thirst for killing us addicts. Addicts that you turned us into. When you got your new rep as a daywalker, all the houses started ashing every vampire you ever turned. Everyone that comes from your bloodline. Bad bloods had to go underground. Hide like goddamn rats. Well, you traveled all over the world. Look at your home now. Hell, you even still dress like a bad blood with the coat and the glasses. You still got our mark. But the poison, though. Rev says that without your serum, you can't see straight. Every minute that goes past, you're more like us. You're the thirst like us. Hurt like us. Bleed like us. I'm gonna keep you alive. I need you alive. Nothing can ever change what happened. No. Nothing can. But you can help us, little man. You can help us live out our whole long lives a whole lot better. See, we're tired of hiding. We want what we gave you. A home. Where have you built it? I'm gonna burn it down. <laughs> Little man still thinks he's gonna be a hero. He's crazy, but it's good to have a dream. Reality is always better. Especially when you got an ace in the hole. Give me that. You get something for that. I'll get it. You just make sure you save me some. Hello, Chase. Pleasure to see you again. Save it, Doc. And you must be Krista. I'm Dr. Braganzo. We're absolutely delighted to have you here. Everything's been prepared. Let's go, ladies. We have a lot to do. If you'd like to leave your bags here, somebody will collect them. 
It's not often that we get visitors from other houses. For the most part, they seem to stay away. Possibly because you're all batshit. If that assessment eases your discomfort in some way, then by all means, you stick to it for as long as you require. The dialysis machines are downstairs. The what? It's an essential step in the processing. We keep things very clean here. Yes, because according to the freaks, we are dirty girls. Our blood must be cleansed. Apparently, it reeks of death. It does. Well, hello, Chase. And how's life with Marcus? Never a dull moment. How nice for you. Are you going to introduce me? Krista, meet Frederick. My ex-husband. <laughs> well, you've certainly got ambition. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Yes, yes you do. Although, you unfortunately started with Blade. What does that mean? It means he turned you. And now I hear you and your lost boys are looking for a home. We just want in. I'll be blunt. My superiors will not allow street scum tainted by the blood of the daywalker in the house of Cathon. We'd not adopt polluted strays. You might try the house of Sakara there. Less particular. Yeah. About that day, Walker. And this means what to me? It means that I can deliver you blade, wrapped up and ready to die. And for this gift, you want keys to my front door? I think your superiors will make an exception. What do you think? I think you like risk. The payoff is worth it. Sometimes you have to take things to get things. I'm sure you've taken plenty. Things your superiors know nothing about. And you plan on taking more, don't you? A lot more. It's how men like you and me get the respect that we deserve. Oh. Is that what you're doing? Getting respect? I'm giving you Blade. You're gonna kill him or not? <sighs> Welcome. Now where do I find him? You'll never see me again. What? Back in the 70s, you used to be a member of a street gang called the Bad Bloods. After you were shot, what happened to the rest of the gang? They disappeared. They all died. How did they die? Little man. Little man? Who's... So I won't find the bodies in the cemetery, will I? Now you listen to me. If you got anybody that cares about you, that loves you, or depends on you for living, you'll stop asking questions. You'll stop looking for whatever it is you're looking for. 
Cause if you find it, you wish to God you didn't. You see, it's because somebody depends on me for living. That thing I'm looking for, I'm gonna find it. And that thing is whatever you sons of bitches call the home. Now tell me where I can find the bad bloods. Listen to me, this isn't magic. There's no pentagrams and chanting and incense burning. When we kill, which you've done or you wouldn't be here, energy is released, which takes you into an after-death experience. Been there. So has Boone. Because of you, you're connected. Now, because of your new metabolic chemistry, your senses have been retuned, calibrated higher. What we do here is simply turn up the dial even more. If we can turn it high enough, you can pick up the energy of your first kill. You'll be able to find him wherever he is. Now here's the rough part. You're going to come out of this incredibly thirsty. You must be careful not to drink too much blood too fast. Or what? A boon's energy will take root in your soul. And whoever you were will be gone forever. I'm already gone. Whoever you were is still very strong in you. I can see that. And you better be careful because Chase can see it too. Now, don't worry. I'll be your guide. I've had some experience in this. With Chase? You turned her? Yes. Sorry to break this up, but can we please get this over with? Let's find your problem, child, shall we? skin Ah! <laughs> 
So much for the Cosby kids. I swear to God, if you say thank you, I'm quitting. Just give me a minute. Where's Krista? Well, that's a story. Collins, it's me, Gib. <clears throat> Brought you those files you asked for. All the boons open cases. Do me a favor, don't tell my cat. I went the last three months. And that's all you got. What can I say? Detroit's a dangerous place to live. <sighs> Runaways, prostitutes, all level. Pushers. Boone specially. I guess you could say he had a soft spot for the lowest of low, lost souls. What about this one? What's the name? Star, Zachary Star. Single GSW to the head, no viable suspects? Yeah, that's one of Boone's special projects. You have a lot of this? Yeah. Cases that were never closed. What about the soldier? I assume Boone wanted to screw him. Did he? I don't know. She went missing. If she turns up, you can ask her. She's still alive. 